Hi guys, Doyle Dykes here and welcome to our Guitar Pour series and this is about the the Chet Atkins medley number two we called it at the that I played at the Grand Ole Opry on July the 24th 2021 and uh, the reason I chose to do all Chet songs that weekend uh, was to honor him 20 years after he had passed away and I just felt like it'd be a great thing to do, and, and the folks just seemed to, to love it. I mean, they really did. I know the Opry staff did. Uh, the, the guys in the band did. It seemed like the sound guys did. It, it was all good. I used my L5 guitar. I also played Amazing Grace with Haley. She sang, and I used the guitar that Chet gave me, uh, and I noticed it was 31 years ago as he gave it to me he signed it in 1991 and uh, this was one of his guitars and uh, i used that on amazing grace and haley sang it it was a memorable night and and uh and i had uh, recorded a, a video for the band to just to run through the songs and i thought why don't we put this on youtube just for fun and we've had so many comments on it i thought i'd break it down and and put it in a guitar pour series, <laughs> which means you get a free lesson. And so I hope you're getting something out of it. And I uh, want to say a special thanks again, once again, to GHS Strings. We appreciate them. And thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, we encourage you to do that. Also, uh, give us a good like, and that'll help us with the YouTube folks. And uh, uh, GHS strings I've been using for many years. If you want to get my signature strings, you can get them from our website. You can get them other places like Sweetwater. And, uh, and we also have a lot of things online. You can get from our website, our latest CD, Full Circle. Uh, you, I mean, it has a lot of great songs on there. I mean, some of these songs are just wonderful for guitar. I mean, I just love them. Some of them are old. <laughs> could I play that maybe Chet didn't record that he would have? And one of them... <laughs> White flag. And so I don't think that was around before Chet passed away, but uh, I've always had uh, Chet. He's, he was just such a big influence. He and also Merle Travis, huge influence. And also... Uh, Les Paul, and so last weekend we did all Gibson guitars, and people were, were talking about, what's you with Gibson guitars? No, I play, well, I've played Gibson guitars since I was a kid, and uh, in fact, Dad always uh, played Gibson guitars, and uh, here he is with a with a, his Super 400. He was proud of that guitar. What a beauty. And uh, I think he actually sold that to Jody Reynolds, and uh, I looked at the sea, and it seemed to say, I took your baby from you away. Remember that, I think the, uh, oh, I can't remember a lot of people that had hits on that. And uh, so anyway, uh, and Les Paul, he had a Les Paul, and I have a picture of him somewhere. I'll put on another video, but there's Les signing my guitar one night when I was, uh, when I w went to the Iridium to, uh, to watch him and here I am playing my guitar and uh, that was a little Les Paul and it had P100 pickups now I have one that has P90s and then of course here I am uh, years ago with a 335 and so yeah I love I love Gibson guitars too and uh, this is a particularly good one and I, I love playing this song so the, the last song Notice, I and mean, you hear a little zing. I'm, I, I need to. I'm sorry. I need to polish my nails a little bit. But I'm walking my bass. Here's a chord uh, that I've used before, uh, 
and it's like a G sus. And then I put an, an A flat here and then an E on the bass. Yeah. And there's that A. It's a form of an A7. Just, just two notes here on the fourth and third strings. Fifth fret, sixth fret. So I'm going back. Chet would always use a lot of open strings. And I'm just doing a bar. And then a ninth chord. A, D minor. And then a, it's a G7, but it has that raise. And this is kind of tricky, but so with the chord that I'm hitting, I'm, I'm just actually so it's more of a it's a form of a seven, but I'm bouncing the third string open. That's like a just a, a D minor. So this is a little triad on an F. Now, and uh, I'm doing, and watch my right hand. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually behind the C. And then every other note is open. And the third finger gets, or the second finger actually gets all the open notes. the way the lead line goes. And then I do a little Earl Scruggs just Yeah. Just say and so it's on the A. So it's like the fingering on the right hand, and it's all about the right hand. So again, uh, is.
And then again. And that Chet did that a lot. And here's my lick I've never heard him do, but. And this is tricky. you did a while ago, but I'm moving this all the way up to a D, and then and that's a, a raised third on the G7, so here it is. a chat run. I don't like to pull off on it so and then a switch and you're bouncing off that third string I know this is crazy stuff but Chet did some crazy stuff <laughs> video or the or a couple of videos past same thing it's three this one two three one one two three one but you set it up with your bass on the four string and so D minor C D minor C, and then and, and, the, and that'd be an F I guess picking that's one of my legs too yeah. actually I say It 
actually goes into the ending. Okay. <laughs> descending that's it so here's your chord and this doesn't seem like it would fit but it's eight it's just an a flat seven then a minor seven and, and a seven and then kind of crazy stuff but like I said Chet did some crazy stuff back then and uh, I mean Lord that goes back to the 50s I'm sure well, I mean his playing it on the Opry uh, of course the song was Al Jolson it goes back further than that all fun folks I hope you enjoyed this series again if you will give us a, a, a good like and subscribe and we'd appreciate that so much God bless you folks and we'll do it again thanks happy picking